And this is video of the Marlins players surrounding the hearse carrying the body of Jose Fernandez. It sums up the day's events. The players grabbed on as if they did not want to let him go. CBS 4 Sports anchor Jim Barry spoke with some of them. Jim. Rudy Bay players came away from today's public farewell feeling a greater bond with fans. And as they walked among the mourners at Marlins Park, players knew that they were not alone in their grief. For four days, Marlin players have carried the weight of losing Jose Fernandez on their shoulders. Today, the pain was shared with fans, fans who lined the street by Marlins Park as Fernandez's casket rolled by. It was amazing, amazing, exactly what uh, I expected it to be. Um, and like I said, they're all hurting too. Fans who crowded the makeshift memorial to remember Jose in their own way. He really impacted us, you know. He wasn't just a baseball player, he was a great human being. And fans who cleared the way as the players added their own signatures, an unspoken bond that some players say they had never felt. I now feel closer to the fans than I ever thought I would. You know, they, like I talked about earlier about us as players having a bond. Like now I have that with the city of Miami. I have it with the fans. You know, we, we went through this together. Like nobody's in this alone. It was the latest ride on an emotional roller coaster Marlin players have been on since Fernandez died. And while today's public farewell felt final, the Marlins team president insisted it's not. It's like today is the final Jose Day. No, it's not like today's the final Jose Day. There's not a final Jose Day. And we're gonna make sure that we keep his legacy alive forever. Now, after the Marlins lost the final home game tonight to the Mets, more emotion on display at the ballpark. Marlins skipper Don Manningly comforted by counterpart Terry Collins, Marcelo Zuna consoling D. Gordon. And look at this, team owner Jeffrey Loria and his wife making their own visit tonight to the mound. Players I spoke to in the clubhouse earlier say the best way to honor Jose's legacy is to play baseball and live with Jose's passion. I'm Jim Barry, CBS 4 Sports. Jim, thank you. And stay with CBS 4 News and CBSMiami.com for continuing coverage of Jose Fernandez's funeral tomorrow afternoon.